Brandy and Monica. Who remembers that Brandy and Monica song, The Boy Is Mine? Do, 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 do. The boy is mine. Do, 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 do. Anyway, um, when I was in school, I uh, took that riff and turned it into a Christmas melody. Me and my friend, our closest friend, we turned it into this Christmas melody. Um, it's just great. And this week, I've been like, taking a bit of a trip down kind of memory lane because there's a local orchestra near to me. Uh, that, that wants to play that song live so and um, this week's just been like a bit of a crazy one um you saw score writing sorting out parts literally taking up every spare minute i've got to try and get the music already because obviously christmas is just around the corner and it's not going to make much sense having a song playing in the march period or something like that but as much right as i've tried to you know, cut a few corners to get stuff done, look for easy duplications, rush deal, just try to use anything that isn't the real deal. It's just left me disappointed and it basically it's just took me back to square one to start all over again. Because you just can't beat authenticity, you can't try and get around it, look for easy ways, save all the drama. Because all it is is to realise and all you're ever going to know is that that only the real deal will do, nothing else can do, everything else is just false. You can't beat authenticity. There's a really extreme confrontation um, during the time that Jesus, Yeshua, was on the earth. Um, it's just after he's been presented with a woman caught in adultery and they want to stone her, then they bring her to Jesus and say, What do you think about this? and it makes them all see sense. And well, he just makes them realize that. You know, you can't judge others when you yourself, you can't take plank at your you're staring at your brother's eye when you've got a plank in your own eye, you know that whole kind of concept. Um so it's just after that. So they're starting to really question Jesus' authority now. Um and he's at this kind of crossroads point where you know, he's got a real opportunity to really declare who he is. You know. And he's having this dialogue with them and the conversation's getting more intense and they're starting to get more angry and it's just starting to rile up, rile up and he has a choice. He can either water down the whole reality of who he is just to save the drama, you know, dilute the anger and the problems that were going to be due. Or you can tell them the truth of who he is, give him the real deal, knowing that it could result in his death. So it's really funny. Because um, he actually takes option two, and just using two words, he gives him a real moment of authenticity, and he proclaims that he is God. Before Abraham, he says, "Before Abraham was, I am." Oh, it goes off. They are picking up stones. They are trying to stone him. Get him. Jesus, he just he just flits into the crowd, you know. So, you know, you see these pictures of him with his blonde hair, blue eyes. And that's not Jesus. Jesus was like rough and rugged, like he had carpenter hands, he brown face, you know, being, you know that that kind of look. And he just blended into the crowd. He was gone; they couldn't see him. Uh, it wasn't a puff of smoke. So say he disappeared. He says he hid. So hi, he would just have to blend in. That was Jesus. That was Yeshua walking on this earth. But yeah, he gives them the real deal, the authentic, this is who I am. I'm not going to give you a watered-down version, I'm going to give you the truth. Today is International Day of Prayer for the Persecuted Church. There's so many of the people who belong to this church across the world have been persecuted because one thing, they refuse to take the easy way out. They refuse to deny their Christian faith, even though it would be easier and even safer for them to do so. They refuse to have a faith that isn't authentic, that isn't the real deal. And that is just a lesson to us all. You can't be authenticity. You can try, but you'll end up by realising that only the real deal will do. So in a world that looks for cut corners and speed and taking and all that kind of stuff, why don't you just try and take the time to be authentic? Who knows what might happen? Read John chapter 8. Verses 48 to 58. Stay blessed.